Hey, what's going on people, Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS, get better performance in GTA 5 and RP both. So in this video, I'm going to be covering a lot of important settings. So I request you guys to watch it till the end. Also, do leave your specs down in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is keeping your windows up to date. It is very important and here is how you can do it. Simply open up settings on your windows and then go over to windows update. Once you are here, you will see you are up to date. Always click on check for updates and see if there are any pending updates possible for you guys. Windows keeps on bringing newer updates to keep their system optimized and if any of their bugs are causing FPS issues, I would recommend you guys to get a windows update. It might fix all of those issues. I would like to introduce you all to Orbison Remote, a one-stop shop solution for using your PC anytime, anywhere, using your mobile phone. It's available for Windows, Android, and iOS. Orbison Remote has a wide variety of features that can mirror your phone or PC and control it with a virtual mouse. You can even play games on it at up to 144 FPS with a customizable keyboard without any issues. If you need any other layout, you can create it using this feature. They have also recently added the security settings to keep your device even more safe. You can get Orison Remote for free or you can get its game version to get access to your PC's game library and features to play from anywhere. You can even get up to 40% discount too and from the link in the description below you can get a free 7 days trial. They also have a smart plug that can turn your PC on or off remotely from your phone and it is really convenient and reliable. So links in the description below, go check out Orbison Remote. Thanks for sponsoring this video. Step number two is the essential window settings. And once again, you have to open up settings and then go over to gaming part. Over here, make sure to go to Xbox Game Bar and disable it. Xbox Game Bar consumes a lot of memory in the background and I would recommend you guys to turn it off as it will save you a lot of memory and will improve FPS. Go back to gaming, then go over to game modes then enable game mode as this will optimize your PC by turning things off in the background allowing you to get much better performance. Right beneath that you will find graphic settings. Over here click on change default graphic settings and enable both the hardware expected GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games. This will optimize you to reduce latency, use advanced feature in compatible games and do much more to improve your performance. Go back to graphics once again and over here you will find a list of all of the games and applications which utilizes your graphic card primarily for usage. You might have already added GTA 5 over here by default or your windows automatically adds it so you need to just locate it. Now over here I have GTA 5 already added over here so simply go to options and select high performance. In case your game is not already showing in this list you can scroll all the way top and then click on this browse button and add the game manually. Step number three is de-animating windows and this is really important. Windows by default has a ton of animations which reduces the performance and FPS in the games. So for that you need to search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and over here you need to select adjust for best performance. Click on show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts and this will optimize your game like a lot. Also go over to advanced settings and then for the processor scheduling, make sure to select on programs. For many laptop users, it could be automatically set it to background services. Once you're done with that, simply click on apply. Step number four is system configuration and here is how you play with your boot. You need to search for system configuration and then this small pop-up will open right in front of you. You are looking for boot section, click on advanced option, click on number of processors and select the maximum number of processors available for you guys. Don't worry, this is completely safe and it will enhance your booting time as well as your system performance in the long run. Simply click on OK, click on Apply and then close system configuration. Step number five is the best graphic control panel settings and for this I have made dedicated guides for Nvidia, AMD as well as Intel HD. So if you're using any GPU, I have left a link to the best optimization guide to all of them in the description below. So you guys can go and check it out. Also you can check on the I button on the top right section of the screen to go and locate those videos quickly. So you simply apply all three of those and then come back to this video. Okay, once you're done with all of the graphic settings, next step is creating a restore point and this is really important. Important. Simply search for create a restore point on your PC and once you are here in the system protection, locate your local disk C, click on create and name it GTA V 
and then simply click on create. You can name it whatever you want, but this is how you remember it. Creating a restore point is really important and I highly recommend you guys not to skip it because if anything goes wrong, you always have a restore point and your system and your data will be safe. Once it is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Step number seven is GTA 5 and RP FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can go and download it from here. In case you are having any issues downloading the file, I have also left a link to my Discord server where you can get a video on how you can download the files safely without any issues. Okay, once you are here, you need to locate the CPU optimization, open it up. And once you are here, you need to identify which CPU you are using. If you don't know about it, you can simply search for system information on your PC and look for your processor. It is AMD for me, it could be Intel for you as well. Also take a note of your installed physical memory as we are going to be needing it in the further steps. Now I am using an AMD processor so I need to run the AMD CPU priority. But if you are using an Intel one, I have also left the Intel priority as well. Using this will optimize your CPU drastically. Also make sure to run both of these registries, these are independent of your CPU but will also improve your system's performance. Now go back to the second folder to the RAM optimization and here is why I asked you to take a note of your RAM. Once again, I'm using 32 GB RAM over here. It could be different for you. So I have left a preset of all of these RAMs. You can identify the one which you are using and run there as well. I've also left a reset to default registry over here. So in case you are troubled with any of the performance, you can always reset it back to default. Now go to the third folder which is the GT optimization and here I have left a lot of presets to the game. Now what you need to do is open up documents on your PC and locate Rockstar Games over here. Then go to GTA 5 and you will find a settings.xml file over here. To take a backup, I highly recommend you guys to copy it. Go over to your desktop and paste this file right over here just to keep a backup. Now go back to your folder, go to GT optimization, comment your computer specifications down in the comments below and I will be telling you guys which one to choose from all of these files. Now my computer falls in the high end category so I need to copy this settings.xml and paste it right over here. Simply click on replace the file in the destination and it will be done. The settings file contains the best settings according to your PC that your game will not lag and give you ultimately better FPS. Now make a note that both of these will cause a very high quality drop in the game but that will give you much stable FPS. So you need to compromise with the quality of your game for FPS. Also I have left a command line.txt. What you need to do is copy this and then go to the installation location of your GTA 5. It could be via Epic Games or via Steam. I have my game on Steam. So I need to open up Steam, locate my GTA 5, go to properties and then over here, go to install files, click on browse. And here is my installation location of the GTA 5. What you need to do is paste this, replace it if it is already existing over here. And that is the command line.txt. Now this txt file contains a string of all of these commands, which will improve your FPS drastically by the boot of the game. It will also help you reduce the loading time of the game. So good luck with that. Lastly is the Windows optimization folder where I have left you programs like MSI Utility V3. What you need to do is right click and run this as administrator. Once it opens up, you have to look for your GPU and from undefined set it to high and simply click on apply. This will optimize your GPU's performance in the game. Simply minimize it, go over to the registries folder and run all three of these registries. This one will disable all of the unnecessary services. This one will enable clear page files at the shutdown and the last one will improve your GPU priority in the game. All three of them are made to help your PC out and they are completely safe so you can run it. Next is the storage optimization where I have left clean temporary files batch file. You need to right click and run this as administrator. Now this file will ask you to press any key to continue and you can simply click on anywhere and this will start deleting all of the unnecessary and unwanted files on your PC. And don't worry, this is completely safe. It won't harm your PC in any way. Once it is done, you can close the FPS pack and move on to the best in-game settings for GTA 5. Okay, so once you are in-game, what you need to do is press your escape key and then go over to the settings. Once you are here, scroll all the way down to graphics and then follow the best graphic settings over here. For screen type, I always recommend you guys to go with full screen. Then for the resolution, you can lower this resolution down for better FPS or you can go to windowed borderless with lower resolution and that will do the job. For aspect ratio, keep it auto, output monitor, keep it one, FXAA off, MSAA off, VSync and pause game on focus loss. 
keep it off. Then for all of these three, just set it all the way down because they consume a lot of graphics and processing uh, whenever we're playing the game. So just keep all these things to low. And then rest ahead from all of these settings, you will have automatically set it from the FPS file, which I've given it to you guys. So don't change anything else. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. We'll see you in another video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.